This is string 3. The problem is equal is not. And the problem reads, given a string, return true if the number of appearances of is anywhere in the string is equal to the number of appearances of not anywhere in the string. So for this first example, the output is false because there is one appearance of not and two appearances of is, one by itself, and one in the word this. So for this problem, I want to have a couple of variables. First, I'm going to create an integer variable called length and set that to str.length. Then I want to have one integer variable that holds all the um, occurrences of not and one that holds all the occurrences of is. Then I'm going to run a for loop, int i equals zero, i is less than length, i plus plus, and inside we're going to run an if statement. So if i is less than length minus two, then we're going to make a string variable, call it temp, to temporarily hold str.substring i comma i plus three. Now we're going to check if that temp is equal to the word not. And if it is, then we're going to add one to not. Then we're going to check for all the cases of if. So if i is less than length minus one, then we're going to make a variable, call it temp2, and we're going to temporarily hold str.substring i comma i plus two and then we're going to check if temp two is equal to the word is and if so we're going to add one to is and then after that for loop you want to go ahead and check if not is equal to is and if so we're going to return true and else return false 